Hi, I'm Neil Tang, the president of Antronics. We put together an installation guide video to support our printed guide for our new Millennium Next 2 GHz tap. In this brief video, we will cover how to prep the tap for installation and helpful tips to ensure a successful deployment. We hope you will find it useful, so let's start. Here's the photo of the uh, Antronics MHT 2000 series Millennium Next Series tap. So this tap is indicated by the MHT part number on the label, and you can look at the appearance on the front and back of the tap. We are now going to prep the pin connector for installation in the MHT tap. It is critical that you actually cut the pin length to 32 millimeters per the SETE 264 specification. The actual cut length is going to be 32 millimeters, which is measured from the tip of the pin to the O-ring of the connector when it's installed. This ensures the proper connection for the full bandwidth usage of the tap. To ensure you have the proper cut length to the pin connector, Antronics offers a cutting sleeve tool called the ACS-32. This cutting sleeve tool on the left is a plastic sleeve that slides over the pin connector. Once you put the plastic sleeve over the pin connector, you want to ensure that the cut guide is flush against the connector, as shown in the arrow. Then you want to cut the pin at the end of the cut guide as flush as possible. This ensures the cut length is 32 millimeters. But depending on what side cutters you use in this cut, you may get a variation. You want to get a side cutter that cuts as flush as possible and you want to have the protrusion beyond the cut sleeve to be two millimeters or less. Now that you have the pin connector cut to the proper length, you can install it into the new MHD tap. The tap features a screwless scissor mechanism, and I'll show you here. Once you ensure that the pin cut length is cut to the proper length, you would actually install it into the tap by simply just inserting and, and tightening the pin connector into the input and output ports of the tap. There is no need to remove the hex port plug or the scissor screw that is inside the tap that's used in legacy taps. Simply tighten to the proper torque. The screwless scissor mechanism in the MHT tap is shown on the left. This is indicated by MHT on the tap label and 2G printed on the label, which indicates 2 GHz. The photo on the right is our legacy 1.2 GHz MGT tap, which is indicated with a G2 on the label. Note that the MHT tap faceplate is not backwards compatible with the MGT tap housing. Ensure you tighten the pin connectors to 240 inch pounds into the tap. On the left shows the aerial installation where the connectors are going from left to right. And the right photo shows the pedestal installation where the cables are coming up and down. The screwless scissor mechanism features a 1000 gram retention force on the pin connector to ensure high reliability during all weather conditions. Here we're going to present the different torques for the different screws and bolts on the tap. The 7 16 inch strand clamp bolt needs to be tightened to 240 inch pounds. The faceplate bolts use a 5 16 nut driver and that should be tightened to 40 inch pounds. The hex port plugs is a half inch plug. These need to be tightened to 45 inch pounds. The F connectors should be tightened to 30 inch pounds. If you need to remove the faceplate from the tap, don't worry, there is a make before break bypass within the tap to ensure continuity of RF and AC downstream. So when you remove the tap, loosen the faceplate bolts, pull on bolt number one, the bolt that is closest to the hardline connectors. To reinstall the tap, you would press the faceplate back onto the housing and tighten the bolts in the sequence one, two, three, four, as shown in the diagram. Also note that the faceplate is keyed for proper orientation. 
There's a QR code affixed to the faceplate of the tap, on the cartons, and also on the data sheets. This QR code links to a resource page that provides specifications, installation guides, and how-to videos for installing the tap. Congratulations on innovating your networks for DOCSIS 4.0 readiness and unparalleled performance. Please reach out to your Antronics representative if you have any questions. Need clarity on anything we've covered here? Or would like to schedule an in-person training session? Thank you.